Listen, I gotta talk about it because I'm confused about it. I'm just saying, bro. I'd be confused, man. I'd be watching things on the interwebs, and I'm like, why are streamers now catching pedophiles? Like, like I'm I, like I understand if you were doing it to catch these guys, but apparently they're not even sending these niggas to jail. So anyway, I'm I'm looking at these fatality streams. And apparently, like, he called Quavo, like, oh, it's a black people thing because black people don't show up when they're paid to do something. And to some degree, he's kind of right, kind of right. But that's besides a separate note because you can't trust rappers to do what they say they're going to do when they're supposed to do it because they rap for a living. And anybody who chooses to rap for a living, chances are not going to be the brightest, the brightest and the best amongst us. But these people been doing are the Vitaly. I saw uh, Myron from Fresh and Fit doing it, and I'm catching. I bet you other people basically join in to go catch these pedophiles on these um, basically sting operations. These self Batman Punisher slash sting operations they are doing to catch the pedophiles. Now, I got questions because as a person who is watching this and observing this, I'm saying, damn. At first, I'm like, dude, they're doing real good work. Like they're out here catching these guys. Send them to jail and clean up the streets for young kids so they don't have to worry about getting snatched up by weirdos. But come to find out after doing some delving and doing some more research, apparently these people are not even going to jail. So I, I asked my question. I asked the question to myself, what is the point of catching these pedophiles, filming all of this, and nobody faces any learn term like punishment? Because to keep it a stack, and let me fix this camera real quick. To keep it a stack, you would not recognize that pedophile out in the open. Like it's it's not like these people are well known. Like like even some professional athletes. Like I live around UT, and I walk around, and I see people, and I I know some of these guys are athletes, but I have no idea who the fuck I'm looking at. Like I can tell they get out of a nice car because they got the NIL deal, and I look and I say, huh. Well, that must be a kid that plays college football. And I, I will have no idea who this person are or who these people are. And that's the same thing I look at with these pedophiles. These pedophiles are essentially unknown. Like, And they do so many of these streams that at a certain point, nobody can really identify who these pedophiles are. Thus, you catch these people and then you release them back into the wild. And according to like most uh, psychologists and people who like monitor these type of things, the reason that they have most of these pedophiles register on the, the, the sex offender list is because they are likely to repeat a fin. Cause it's a chronological, I'm not a chronological. It is a like mental illness. They don't, they can't help themselves. They will always take advantage and predate on children and minors and shit like that. That's why they're pedophiles. They're serial pedophiles. <laughs> That's why when they get locked up, they usually get killed because they don't let those people go back out in the wild because they know that they are a hazard to society. So my question then becomes to Myron, Fatali, and all these other guys that catch these people. What is the point of doing this if you're not cooperating with the police and doing a sting operation to be able to catch these people, put them in jail, and have them face crimes, face the, uh, the repercussion and the punishment for their crimes? Which leads me to believe, chances are this is fake. These are stage operations with actors and they are simply running out of content. And thus, the only thing that they have left that will not get them ridiculed or questioned is to go after the one group of people that all people hate, despise, and wish nothing but bad upon, which is the pedophile. Because once again, we, we have seen this show before. Chris Hansen was locking mother bleepers up. Chris Hansen was doing a civic duty and they had a whole like network, even though he made some money off and they profited. Those guys got hemmed up by the peoples and end up facing charges and going away and facing whatever consequence they had to go face in jail. So my question now becomes, why can you not do the same as Chris Hansen? Why are you not having the authorities evolve to catch these people who you are apparently really good at catching them because you keep filming it over and over and over again? You have all this content and footage of you catching pedophiles, you're teaming up with the uh, the super team of streamers and rappers and all other types of people to catch these motherfuckers. Yet, there's not a single arrest. There's never police involved. We never see anybody get held up. We don't know what happens because at least Chris Hansen, he he followed up. They would show those people getting processed into jail, show them the confession room and show them the details of what they did, show them all the links and sent their ass to jail. There was consequences to be had for those thing operations. 
So my question now becomes, why are streamers now catching pedophiles and not getting them hemmed up? Well, it's fake and they ran out of content. I, I'm saying it right here. Apex is calling it today, uh, July 29th of 2024. The streamers are done. The entertainment streamers are done. They are cooked. They are out of content. They went from video games to house parties to random fights. So now they are catching pedophiles. That's all they got left now because there is no more content for them to put out because they do not think long term that eventually your audience grows and matures and they want to see real shit to help them get forward in life. See, there's only so much an entertainer. An entertainer has a lifeline. Not a lifeline, but a life t a life shelf. Much like a pro athlete. If you're not evolving or if your comedy or whatever you do is not smart and lightning and you're teaching people and you're growing as a person, eventually you get stale. Much like these videos, they're now getting stale. Vitaly came, he busted through a wall like the Kool-Aid man to go catch a guy. They made a one another thing when a guy sat in a fake folding chair with a girl that was a paid act. And I'll be looking at this shit, I'm like, dude, who who's helping y'all out with content? Like, is this your idea? Where are you getting this shit from? I'm confused. Because at a certain point, not entertainment. And then what's the next step? What can you really do after this? Well, you either got one or two ways. You either go the Jake Paul route where you just start fighting for a living. Which is pretty entertaining. I'm gonna give it to you. Jake, you say whatever you want about Jake Paul. Jake Paul's an entertaining as human being. I, I watch the fights because I know they're real. I know he's progressing. I know he's getting better. He's building upon something. Or you can go down the route of degeneracy and irrelevancy eventually. Because that's eventually what's gonna happen is when that entertainment flame eventually dies out, you will then become the great fear that all entertainers face, which is being irrelevant. Which is what most of these guys are heading towards. Irrelevancy. Even the Fresh and Fit podcast. It doesn't hit the same no more. Since we found out that, uh, what's his name? Fresh got a uh, a Chinese escort baby mama. And I, I'm still interested to see how that develops. Because uh, we haven't heard much about that. So I don't know if she got rid of the baby or she's just waiting to do. She hasn't put no pictures out. I haven't really heard. But I will be updating you guys when I find out. But I'm just saying, I think they're out of content, man. They don't have anything to really teach anybody. Because most, again, they were entertainers. They were shock value people. And now that everybody's doing it, everybody's in streaming, the shock value doesn't go as much. You can only be more shocking. It's, it's like Elvis, not Elvis, brother. It's like Evil Knievel. Shit, you jump over one bus, you got to jump over two. You jump over two, you got to jump over six. You jump over six, you got to jump over 20. Eventually, it gets to the point where there's not enough buses to jump, and all you're going to do is crash out and injure yourself. And that's eventually what I think is going to happen. I think they, they are setting themselves up for a, uh, a major crash down. I'm here for it. Let's get it out the way. America needs education. We don't need no more entertainers. See, the reason you like listening to my channel is because I give you new thoughts and ideas and I'm entertaining as long, as well as enlightening and educational. You don't sit there and be like, oh, man, I don't understand what's going on. But anyway, man, I'm, I'm just saying this shit's fake. I don't believe it. Fake news. Uh, and pray for the people because they, they don't got nothing left. That's it. That's a wrap for Vitaly and all the rest of the streamer gang. Peace. But I'll still be here. I'll still be here. Give me that content, that flame. Because let me let me tell you something. As your mama, as your daddy, as your grandmama, as your cousins, as your your auntie, your third distance relative, they're all gonna tell you the same thing. Apex is here to stay.